Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday and time for a creative fold, and I'm continuing to use the Eastern uh, Palace Suite Bundle that is only available till March 31st. This um, suite of product is just so pretty, and I just can't seem to get enough of it. Today, I am going to be using the Designer Series Paper, and two of the sheets of the Designer Series Paper have... Um, gold foil in it and of course we have the vinyl D uh, kales that go with um, this bundle too so I have not used these on the video so I wanted to do that I'm going to be using that layering um, framelit uh, from this set I am going to be using the flower this time and so I'm just bringing in a piece of Whisper White. And the cool thing about these dies, if you have not seen them, they layer inside of each other and give you a lot of different combinations on what you can do with it. So I'm, like I said, just using the flower, um, the outline, and then the center punch out. So I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. I'm just going to pop that out. And I have already brought in a piece of glimmer paper. Now I have used the layering circles on that. So I'm going to just pop this die out. And then I'm going to bring in that decal. I think, let's see which, I think I'm going to use this decal. So I'm going to pull that off. And then I'm going to put that on my cutout like so and then I'm going to layer that on top of that gold glimmer uh, piece so let me grab a dimensional here put that in the center and it just really makes that gold pop right out of that flower. Isn't that pretty? So now let's go ahead and do our creative fold. I have a piece of basic black cardstock. This measures four inches, four and a quarter inches by 11. And I'm going to score it at the five and a half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the edge of the cardstock up into the um, center score line and so I'm going to move this in one inch so I've got my paper at the top grid on the one inch line I'm going to bring in that cutter and I'm going to cut but only cut down to that score line I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing line it up at the one inch up against the top of my cutting mat and then just down to the five and a half. Now I'm calling this a center open card. So I've got my um, two cuts, like so. I'm gonna bring in that designer series paper and my snail. And I am going to place that foil right on those side one inch cuts. This designer series paper is three quarter inch by five and a quarter. If you head over to my blog, either by the eye at the top or the link at the bottom, if you're watching in YouTube, you'll find more details on this product. I see that I'm putting that foil in a different direction. I want my little scallops going in the same direction. But you'll find all the information about this beautiful suite. You really want to get it now. It will be individual pieces come the new catalog first of June, but you will not get the extra product or the 10% discount. Now I've taken my snail and run it down that one inch cut line. We've got that, and so now we have it our center opening. I'm going to add some white cardstock um, in the middle. This is Whisper White. It's two inches by five and a quarter and it looks like my snail is running out. So let me just grab a glue dot here. 
always want to have lots of adhesive on hand. So I'm just going to place that in the center there. That gives me a place to do my um, journaling um, or writing uh, on my card. So I'm going to flip this back over. Well, that's still not sticking. Let's see. Boy, I don't have adhesive on it. My glue dots didn't even pick up. So let's see if we push harder. There we go. So that we can get this to stick down. There, now we've got that. I'm going to bring in that gold glimmer. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to add a couple dimensionals onto that and put that on the center a flap that I created. So I guess I'm calling it a center flap opening card. So I've got that. It's pretty, but it needs a little more bling. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get some more of those decals. And I'm just going to place that as a border across the top. Then I grab my scissors and snip that. I think I'm also going to do that down at the bottom. This would have also looked cute. Maybe I'll put those facing up. This would have also looked cute if I had thought ahead of time and run it down the side of that card. But still, just a very simple creative fold using that Eastern Palace Suite with lots of gold bling. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.